Hi friends, I'm Sienna Jaloda. Welcome to the questions from Board of Studies portal of the Institute. Our attempt is to be solving every possible question of this subject, so therefore nothing remains. You can rely on these videos for all your needs of MCQs. In case further there is some doubt, please message us on Telegram ID at the rate Asian X. And in case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, link is there in the description. And uh, good news for CA Inter guys. In some time, we'll be launching free videos, complete videos uh, for CA Inter costing, whereby everything is covered, including there is a homework section. There are summaries of every question. Apart from that, uh, you have dedicated test at the end of each and every uh, chapter, everything completely free, including the soft copy of the books also. So in future, students can like, you know, aim of getting say 90 plus in costing in CA inter and do not pay a rupee also of the fees. Okay, your uh, uh, satisfaction, your conceptual knowledge is very important to me. So that is one thing that I'm going to be doing for CA inter. So spread this to your friends or relatives who are there in CA Inter. Okay. And uh, just one small thing, those lectures will be coming in English and Hindi mode first and then complete English. Okay. Let's start it off. So which one of the following, which of the following is not a prerequisite for effective GIT system? Now GIT system is actually in two parts. You have just in time purchases. You have just in time production. Just in time purchases means what? Purchase whenever you have to be consuming, obviously raw material. GIT production is what? Produce whenever the order comes from the customer. Okay, of course, of finished goods. So which one is not a prerequisite, means essential for effective GIT system? Okay, bring me the four options, please. First, lesser setup time. Okay, second, total quality management. Third, varying demand levels. And fourth, multi-skilled labor force. Now let's examine them one by one in order. Okay. So first of all, lesser setup time. Now that is a prerequisite of GIT system. See under GIT system, how the things work, whenever the demand comes from the, whenever the order comes from the customer, you will set up the machines at that time only and you will do the production. So setups happen a lot many times. You have to be ensuring that your setup cost is less. You have to be ensuring that particular thing. So first point that is lesser setup time is all correct. It should be that your setup time should be as less as possible. That will do two things. Your cost is also less. Second, you will be able to produce that order faster that customer is waiting for. Okay, so point number one is altogether correct. Then point number two, total quality management. Now the backbone of a good GIT system is nothing but TQM system that will ensure that there are no defects. And the moment the goods are produced at that time without inspection also, they can be sent to the customer. So therefore that will ensure that the customer gets the goods the moment he had ordered. Obviously there'll be some time lag for sure, but we like to keep that time lag as less as possible. So TQM is the essence of your GIT system. Let's go over to the next one. Point number four, multi-skilled force. Now, obviously you all will understand that uh, under GIT system, we would not like to keep on producing. Whenever we have to keep on producing, no, usually workers should be talented to do one single thing. 10 workers will keep on doing their 10 things. Automatically products will be getting made. But then that will happen under, under a traditional system. Traditional system is also called as a push system, not under a GIT system, which is pull system. Under pull system, what happens the moment the customer gives the order, we are ready for action. We start to be producing. Whenever we will be producing at that time, one thing, your workforce should be multi-skilled. So therefore, suppose like, you know, machines become bad in the middle. These workers should be knowing how to repair the machines because if they wait for the maintenance department to be coming. At that time, lot amount of time will pass between you getting the order and you completing the order. So therefore, we always want like, you know, that work, the workforce should be multi-talented. They should be able to do the production also. They should be able to repair plant and machinery also. That will ensure like, you know, no time is wasted. 
And lastly, the fourth one, sorry, the third one, varying demand patterns. Now, this statement is not a prerequisite. In fact, for JIT, we always say that you should be able to predict the demand quite quickly. And you should be able to demand the, you should be able to predict the demand quite accurately also. Because see, you are about to be producing whenever the customer gives the order. So therefore, you should be able to predict when the customers will be giving the order. So that is one requirement under the GIT system. It's not that we exactly wait for the customer to give the order and then do the production. No, a better GIT system will always be you should be able to predict the demand and based upon that prediction, you should be able to produce because if your predicting is not proper, okay, automatically you will be producing more or less. So therefore, we would not want varying demand levels. We will require consistent demand level. Okay, uh, demand patterns. The correct answer is varying demand patterns are not helpful in GIT system. The demand should be predictable since a company operates without inventory. If you do not have any inventory, you estimated a demand of 100, you produced 100, but demand came of 90, beta 10, where will you keep? Now you are adopting GIT system. So therefore, you might not have space also for storage. And if the demand comes as 110, okay, you will fall short of 10 units now. Okay, so therefore we want consistent demand, which is a predictable one. Okay, so answer over here should be third. That should be the correct answer. That is the correct one. Just before I sign off, this is the QR code for the MCQs from the module. Do check them out and uh, take care of your health. If your health is good, your most of the problems in CA will automatically get solved. Ensure that you concentrate, go out, play a bit. Ensure that you chat with your friends each and every day for some time. This will take away a good amount of burden from your life. I'll see you all now in the next lecture. Till then, take care.